Today on the Freemasonry Report, to blackball or not to blackball? Stay tuned. Hello, my brothers. This is the Freemasonry Report tuning in. Wanted to tell you about blackballing. And this is a great topic because you know what? It does happen on some occasions. But the thing I want to talk about today is when you should consider blackballing someone and when you should not. Okay, now we've all run into, during our time as Freemasons, balloting on new brothers. I'm not going to go into any specifics because I'm not going to break my obligation. But I do want to talk about the finer points of blackballing someone uh, and how you should really think very seriously about doing that before you just sort of willy-nilly make your vote. So let's get into it. Okay, as a past master, I've dealt with balloting throughout my year as master and as an officer prior, and even this year, while we've had meetings before the whole coronavirus really got crazy. And I had brothers come up to me and ask me, uh, worst of all, how should I vote? And I'm like, you know what, voting is up to you, but I wanna tell you some of the things that you need to consider when you're going to vote on a, a, a candidate to be a brother in our fraternity. First thing you wanna consider, is it a good man? Did we do the investigation? How did the investigation come back? Was the investigation clear? Does he have a criminal background? Is he someone with ill recruit, like selling drugs, uh, hitting his wife, an alcoholic, a drug abuser, a child molester? Is there something in there that really clearly shows that you should not have him involved in our fraternity. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are saying like, wow, it's a pretty big list and you know our investigating committee takes care of that. But there's things that you may not be aware of. Like people can have their records expunged and they can have things removed from their history. So someone that knows them well might be like, hey, look, this is an issue. Number two, you wanna take in consideration is this person confident? Are they going to have the follow through? Do they have the ability to do our degrees from start to finish and do the work that's required of them that every other brother in Freemasonry has done before? Now, when I say they're willing to do the work, I, I really mean it. Do they have a good memory? Are they comfortable doing what they're going to be doing? Are they capable of doing it? Do they have the ability to re represent our fraternity well? Do they have the confidence to represent us well? That leads us into number three. The big third thing is, as I said, do they represent us well? Not just in confidence, but as a person. Are they well kept? Are they cleaned? Are they groomed? Do they have a job? Are they um, doing things which could be considered nefarious on a regular ba basis where they're not bad enough to get them in criminal trouble or even uh, a misdemeanor trouble, but it's just things where it's just like, you know, I don't really feel that's ethical. And we want to make sure when we actually reach out to people to have them go through the degrees and they get balloted upon that they are definitely good people and that they are not doing things that are nefarious, that somehow they're skirting the line of being criminal in some way. Number four, this is a big one. How do you feel about having a relationship with that man into the future? If you don't know them and you're questioning them about how they are as a person, do, do they meet the basic fundamentals of the values of opportunity? Do they believe in God? Are they a man? Do they have all the other basic blocking and tackling down? Because this is someone you're planning on getting to know and having a relationship for the rest of your life. Because being a Freemason is a lifelong commitment. It's not something that you go through the three degrees and say, okay, I got my ring now, I'm out the door. No, this is something that you have to take seriously through your whole entire life. I know at times you may be busy with career, you may be busy with family, having a newborn baby, but Freemasonry is always gonna be there. So with that being said, you have to take a serious look at yourself and say, how do I ensure that I'm making the best decision for the fraternity, but also for myself that I want to spend time with this individual the rest of my life, possibly. Number five, 
Number five is really big. Because of the fact that we're looking at building relationships with people, you are also safeguarding the future because every brother that comes after you and every brother that comes in from another lodge in another area and another grand jurisdiction that has a chance to be introduced to a Freemason that's part of your lodge, you want to make sure the best presentation of your lodge is being put out there for the world to see. So your vote, your ballot really matters. And if you feel this person is good and they're doing good things, then they should not be blackballed. Okay, I covered a lot very quickly. No back blackballing is something that is very unusual that to come by. And uh, I wanted to bring it up because recently I did a video and I brought up Bill Gates. And right now, Bill Gates is, I don't know, not really beloved by some people in our society. But I figured this was good because by talking about Mr. Gates, you as a brother can correlate and say, as he is an example, would I ballot for him? And this is something you really want to consider. And this is something you really want to understand. Now, when I talk about Mr. Gates, or anyone for that matter, you have to be really mindful of saying, is this someone that is good for our fraternity? Would I give him a black ball or would I embrace him into a fraternity? And that's the great part about this conversation because I use him as an example because it's truly about us. It's truly about who we feel is going to best represent our fraternity to the outside world and all of society to, to really embrace. So I, I think it's a great example because I want you to really be critical about the brothers that we have and the future candidates we may have and people that may be candidates or maybe brothers in the future. So you make the best decision for our fraternity to vote someone that is positive, that can be constructive, that can be benefit to our society overall. Lastly, should you just vote and have someone come in the craft for money because they're a millionaire or a billionaire? Absolutely not. It's not about money. It's about what's in their heart. What's in like, can you see right here? What's in their heart and what's in their mind? It's all about that. So money doesn't really have any influence in Freemasonry. And I want to bring that up because you know what? I see on internet, a lot of different places, there's all these people running around saying Illuminati, 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 uh, get your five trillion rubles and rubies and gold bars when you join us. And here's my WhatsApp number and it's bogus. Money has nothing to do with Freemasonry. It's all about learning ethical principles that are only good and only positive. It has nothing to do with how much money you're walking in a door with. So keep that in mind when you're looking to ballot on anyone. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like these videos, click like and subscribe. It's really that simple. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube, obviously. We're on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. Just start following us, sharing us with the other brothers that you know, uh, because that's how we grow. And I love to hear your opinions. I say it over and over and over again. I can't really beat that drum hard enough. Whenever you give me feedback, I really take it into consideration for future videos, and it helps me be a better content creator for you. So I hope you're enjoying this passion project called the Freemasonry Report that I'm putting on. And again, this is the Freemasonry Report signing off. Take care, be safe, stay healthy, and always enjoy being a Freemason.